right, Canise 310, Fall 2023. Dr. Campbell here uh, to go over the syllabus. Um, couple, so why don't you pause the video and pull up the syllabus so that way we can kind of go over it together. I'll point out key points and uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. A uh, rem reminder, I wear my shirts inside out for friction, reduce friction for my bursitis. Uh, Crocs are from my unstable cuboid bone and the little headband. I'm not trying to make a fashion statement. It's like uh, it's like an athlete wearing like a sleeve for proprioception. Like I find that it helps my brain like focus because like I have like constant like. So I'm weird. That's okay. We can all be weird. It's okay. So exam content will be based off of face-to-face -face lectures. I'm going to post all the videos. I got my um, little speaker amplifone working better. So the first lecture that I did on Wednesday, um, you had to turn the sound up pretty high, maybe even have some earphones uh, for those of you that weren't there or if you want to rewatch it. But moving forward, um, my little speaker system that I invested in for this class should be able to remedy that, okay? Uh, guys, don't ask for stuff. Um, curves, extra points, what can I do to pass? Just let the hand play out. Do you know what you can do to pass? Work hard. That's the easiest thing you can do. Work hard, learn what I tell you to learn. Um, you know, I told you I give you exam like hints in class all the time. So uh, that's what you can do. Work hard. Uh, approved biology is a prereq. That's so that you have some basic anatomy um, bones and structure and stuff. I can't spend all class time going over what a, a humerus and a femur is. Uh, exams are going to be face to face via Moodle. So make sure, guys, please come with a laptop, iPad, something to take your tests on. I'm going to remind you, but please make sure you have something. We'll not allow you to take your test on your phone. So uh, prepare, okay? Prepare. Let's see. I can modify the document. That's in case, like, something happens and we have to change an exam time or something. I'll go in and update it or modify it and repost it. You have until graduation day to the semester of this class to arm wrestle over a grade or something, okay? Um, exam review. So after an exam, a lot of students naturally want to go over their test. I prioritize the students that make better grades because we only have to go over one or two questions, three at the most, so we can kind of get them in and out of here sooner. And that way, students that didn't do as well, we have more time and you don't feel rushed. And students that are waiting to go over one question aren't waiting here for hours, okay? So that's why that's there. Um, guys, don't contact me the night before a test because I'm old and I'm going to be sleeping. So stay on top of your stuff, okay? Uh, 310, Kinesis 310, I'm Brian Campbell. I have my cell, please don't abuse it, but it's there for an emergency. Or if you have questions, um, I did my undergraduate here in sports medicine, which is now athletic training, so I'm a certified athletic trainer uh, by trade, so I can relate to the athletic training majors. Um, my master's was in exercise physiology at the University of Southern Mississippi. And my doctorate is in biomechanics from Auburn University. So, uh, but a biomechanist, the physics of human movement, that's, that's what I know. That's what I understand. There's a lot of stuff I don't understand. But that's the one thing. Human movement is uh, my, uh, my forte. Okay, that's my specialty. Office hours. I had it posted um, here in the syllabus. I also have it posted on my wall. Uh, 7 to 7.30, so before class option, 9.30 to 11 after class option. Then I'm going to come back. i got to get my boys from school, take them back home, and then come all the way back uh, for Maurice for an afternoon office hour option on Mondays and Wednesdays. Uh, Fridays after class, I'm going to be with my family. 
because I miss them and they miss me too. And uh, I will be in my office on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but it may not be regularly. So if you see me here and you have some questions, no problem. Um, feel free to stop by. Support materials, everything you need is going to be on Moodle. Um, and the reason is because I want us to all be on the same page. Not like literally. No, that could be literally. So like these kind of books, my major professor at Auburn was a co-author of this book. And it is huge. And there's a lot of stuff in here. Why? Because publishers want to sell this book to as many different classes as they can. So they want to be able to say, you know, this... You know, what do you teach? Oh, we have that in this book. Or what do you teach? Oh, we have that in this book. So it's it's kind of watered down because they want to have as much stuff as possible, uh, but it misses a lot of nuance. So what I did is I picked out the important things and, and kind of converted it into kind of one document so there's no wasted space. So you won't have to buy a $500 book and only use 20% of it. I'm giving you all the information, okay? I always say, feel free to use other resources if you wish, but just make sure you come to me if there's any uh, disagreements on verbiage. We may be talking about the same thing, but I, we call it a cat, and my grandmother called a cat a minu because she was Cajun, and she didn't know what cat was. She just said minu. So we're talking about the same thing but sometimes verbiage can be different uh, especially for like planes and axes and stuff um, okay I have a YouTube channel it's posted on the syllabus but also all the links go to the YouTube channel some students um, love to go look at old videos to help so grading scale standard kind of college grading scale 10 point scale uh, 9 90 to 100 80 to 89 99 9 9 9 9 70 to 79.9999999 uh, D is 60 to 69.9999 and below 60 is an F don't in my opinion this is an easy C but an easy C not by doing nothing just an easy C if you try um, I protect my A's and I protect my B's. I want an A in my class to mean something. And I want a B in my class to mean something. Um, not just for you, but for graduate school. For them to see an A in Kinesis 310 or an A in biomechanics and say, you know, that means something. So we have our exam dates listed. Um, your final exam is Friday, December 8th at 8 o'clock in the morning. Should be 7.30, but I gave you an extra 30 minutes to sleep in or to get to Bourgeois, okay? Um, course description is going to be on Moodle. It's going to follow um, Moodle, and I'm going to put all the units as we get to them, unit 1, 2, 3, and 4 separately instead of one big document, because uh, then it kind of makes it more confusing on where things start and stop. So as we get closer to the first test I'll post unit 2 to give students kind of a heads up to kind of start looking at it. Um, guys don't be one of the things that I try to teach isn't just content it's about life skills and life lessons that are going to put you in a position to excel in life and one of those things is being accountable to be on time if you plan to be here on time, eventually you're going to be late. What I mean by that is you're going to hit every red light. There's going to be an accident. You're going to hit the train. So prepare to be early. And what's the worst thing that can happen if you're early? Study, ask me questions, um, network with people in class, study group stuff. Okay. So starting Monday. I'm going to start closing the door and locking the door at 7.30 because i got to go to work. Like, you're paying good money for tuition to learn this stuff, and I don't want to waste a minute. And so for students that do come late regularly, we may have a talk. Maybe there's a reason, you know, and, and I'll work with you. I'm not unreasonable. But if you had a dream job interview, guessing you wouldn't be late for that. And so being late for class is kind of a habit. You can just kind of get in the habit of being on time. And I'm hoping that that habit carries over to your real world 
work experience, okay? So um, if you're late for class moving forward, no big deal. Just hang out outside, and when I get into a break of my storytelling and lecture, then I'll come open the door. Because remember, guys, I don't read from a PowerPoint, okay? I work for a living. I'm using analogies and stories and really trying to make this material um, absorb for different learners. And so when I'm in, in the groove of, of, of these, of my lectures, uh, people opening a door just totally um, distracts me. And then I forget where I'm at. I forget where I was in the story. And it distracts all the students, too, because everybody's looking to see who, who's coming in and, uh, you know, what they wear and stuff like that. Okay. So um, I'm asking you, begging you to be respectful of um, our time. Okay. For a, an exam, you could be late because it's quiet. I'm not lecturing. Um, so get in when you can. However, if you're like 30 minutes late for an exam, you got 20 minutes to take it. And I won't let anybody start an exam if someone has already left. Because um, academic integrity reasons. So if you're a few minutes late, come on in. Okay. Um, following protocol, the key thing for missing an exam, some people just have bad luck, life happens. Uh, in my 10 years of college, I never missed an exam. But that doesn't mean you won't totally understand. But there's protocol in place, and that protocol is you've got to let me know. You have to let me know that you're going to be missing. If you're sick, you know you're not going to be missing. I mean, you know you're going to be missing, right? If you're sick in the morning, you know you won't be coming to class. If there's an emergency, you know you won't be coming to class. And if you can't physically contact me, someone knows of your emergency, and you can tell them to contact me or contact the office, okay? So if I get word at 11 o'clock in the morning that you're missing an exam, I don't care because you didn't follow protocol. Okay, as far as I'm concerned, you slept in, freaked out, and went to the doctor after to get a doctor's excuse. If you are sick or if there's an emergency, let me know and we'll make it work. Okay? If you don't follow protocol, oof, then I'll still let you retake the test, but your highest grade is going to be whatever the lowest grade is in class to start off with and then I'll start taking points off for everyone you miss because you have an advantage. You genuinely have an advantage. You get more time and also get to probably hear from people what was on the test. I am not going to give anybody an advantage, especially if they don't follow protocol. Okay? I think that's fair. I think that's I think all of you reasonable students would be like that's fair. Take care of your business. We'll be out. Uh, the ADA st statement, tell me what you need and we'll make it work. I'm dyslexic. Um, and although I never uh, required accommodations, I could definitely understand people that do and support it and I want to help you. So uh, whatever you guys need with your ADA, um, you know, send me the proper paperwork email and we will take care of you. Okay. I'm a big supporter of, of, of the ADA. Um, all right, we're good? Okay, if y'all have any questions, you let me know. We'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.